But we'll find out, I suppose. See, we see that big fat guy again. Maybe he'll come back this way. I don't know, he was rude. He was smiling at everyone as he went by on his bike. And then when it came to me, he stopped smiling. He wouldn't smile at me. I said hi, nothing. I complimented him, nothing, not a smile. He just completely ignored me. I thought that was really fucking rude. See, all the blokes that I'm interested in are just not interested in me. But they're fucking rude about it. They're not even like, thanks, but I'm not interested, or just thanks for the compliment. Well, it's always young ones and all. It's always young ones that are the most rude. He was a young man. And that guy, those two men above, above me, ahead of me right now, they, they went past me and the older one smiled and sort of nodded to say thanks for getting out of our way and then moving out of the way. But the young one went past and nothing, not one iota of a thank you or a smile no politeness see what i mean i'm sorry but it's it's generally older people who are friendlier and more accepting and it's generally younger people especially teenagers that are judgmental opinionated once they make up their mind and form an opinion of you that's it you that's your that's it there's no room for changing the mind as I've tried changing the mind it doesn't work other people have tried changing the mind it doesn't work but trying to tell them that I'm actually a nice person and I'm very kind and friendly and lovely which is what Liam said to them about me but it didn't, it didn't make a difference. They're still determined to hate me because I record. Because I'm different. <sighs> because I dress as a wolf sometimes. You know? I'm sorry, but these people are, are, are not more accepting than old people. I know everyone likes to think that these... Oh my God. The hell's that? I know everyone likes to think that all these up and coming people, cause they're new. And this is supposed to be the more accepting society and era that all these young people are like better than they used to be and they're all more well behaved and more polite and more accepting of people who are different and so on and so forth they're not they're absolutely not they're, they're, they, they treat me and these are the newer ones now they treat me the exact same God's sake. They treat me the exact same way as they did two decades ago. Literally. I was about 10, 11, 12 when they started harassing me and my mum. And they made fun of me then and didn't accept me for being different. And these are like the new lot now. Because these are different people than the ones that used to harass me when I was, you know, two decades ago. Because they wouldn't have been born then. Because they're either like 10 now, 10, 11, 12 now. According to them, anyway. To me, they look about 15, 14, 15, but according to them, the 10. And they're no nicer. So any, every time I see young people, I'm wary of them, especially teenagers. And they're always proved right. They're always the most unfriendly. Hiya. They're always the most unfriendly and least accepting and more judgmental. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. I'm sorry to burst everybody's young people loving bubbles. Because they do where people seem to love young people for some reason. Like generally as a whole. They seem to love young people. And if you try and say anything against them, they won't have it. And it's like, but it's true. They are judgmental, they are very opinionated. 
they have fixed views like they keep saying old people do they keep saying old people have fixed views no they don't older people move with the times usually you might get the odd ones who don't and are stuck in the ways as people like to say and stuck with that the old school views and thoughts and opinions but generally they actually are quite adaptable and they've learnt it over a number of years how to be that way whereas young people all they know is all they know so if everybody dresses a certain way and then there's the odd few that dress a different way then they think nope that's not right not accepting that or like they, they insist I'm they, it seems like I'm the only one who records which is absolute bullshit young people are always recording when anything happens and they in fact even recorded me these very people who accused me of recording them and saying that was bad all right I'm gonna turn back now it's too much it's gonna to be too much I still have to walk home remember so yes uh, they're trying to get me on recording when they do it themselves they probably don't record all the time though, they only record sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're on this way down anyway, so I'll get Alright, cop. <coughs> Alright, cop. Yeah, I find that weird. I find that weird. And I wonder why they think, they think the young people are the ones that are more adaptable and more accepting of different things and whatnot. They are, they are more set in the ways because they've lived a shorter life thus far, and they don't, they know things as they are. They don't. There's no room in their brain or vocabulary for anything other than the way. I used to be the same way. That's how I know. I'm not just saying everybody else is that way but me. I was the same. I thought things were a certain way. And anything that goes against that certain way that I've grown up with them being was super weird. So people who were autistic or have some kind of mental disability I thought were weird. And I thought they were stupid and retarded. And I, I even worried that I was that way because of certain ways that I acted and the fact that people kept telling me that I was... You know, I, I came across as autistic. And that I came across as retarded. Hello. Yes, we meet again. You. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. I'm going back this way, though. <laughs> you come all this way, I'm going back this way. I know, you're mad now. Unless you want to come back. <laughs> you don't have to. These are, these are looking to them, though. So maybe they are the leaders. That one's just staying behind over there. See how they react. <laughs> Let's see if they come back this way. Yeah, they weren't looking at me so much as looking at them. I'm going back this way. <laughs> I know, I know you're probably pissed. They followed me all this way trying to look for me because I got like way ahead of them. Well, they seem to be going that way still. So I think, yeah, I think they're carrying on. Fair enough. I would like to carry on, but I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdo myself, I'm afraid, gooses. So you're gonna have to go on without me. They're very excited. Like it doesn't seem to be just about food. I think they recognize me and just like me. I've never given them food, so. And they're still excited. <laughs> they met me earlier and I didn't give them food, so. See, the wishful thinking, you know, they must really like me because they recognise me. Yeah, they're not sure what they're doing, do they? I think they're fixed on going that way. I don't blame them. I would if I was them and I was just swimming along. But yeah, uh, right. So as I was saying, I was the same. I had set views of how things were. Um, I was, I, I got 
you know, people telling me that I come across retarded or whatever at one point, and people saying that they think I have autism when I was a very young child. And that I was I was weird because I wore a glitter wig when I was like three. And I thought that was odd. When my mum told me that, I thought that was odd. And my mum told me that at a young age, but I thought, I remember thinking, but children, you know, dress up, don't they? Oh, okay. Oh! Wow! Children dress up and it's not weird. Apparently children could get away with more than older children, teens and adults. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a funny noise. Oh, oh, oh. It's a funny cat come bird sound. <laughs> yeah. What if he timed me? Because he said see you in 10 minutes. <laughs> I want to know if I really was 10 minutes. Now the recording is about seven minutes long, so. Yeah, well, actually it's 11 minutes now. So I have been over. So I started recording after he said, see you in 10 minutes. Oh, he was wrong. Boo. Boo. Anyway, uh, so I worried about it because I thought that, you know, anyone with mental health issues were just stupid and retarded. So there you go. There's my fixed belief. Belief, that's it. Fixed belief. And uh, like I say, I've, I've changed my mind now. They are absolutely... People who are autistic or even supposed retarded in their own way are very, 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 um, what's the word? Gifted. A lot of them have, I would say, superior intelligence. The, uh, uh, like, remember that guy, Kimmy was called, and he he couldn't tie shoelaces or do everyday life stuff. Like, I struggle with that stuff as well. I struggle with chores, everyday life things. I fumble, I drop things, I get caught on things, and it's very annoying. I prefer what I'm doing now, just walking and not fumbling around with too many things. And this relaxes me, but as soon as I'm home and I'm doing stuff... And usually having to use my hands to operate tools and carry things from one place to another and stuff like that. I find I start getting stressed and antsy and frustrated. But I'm very smart in other ways. Same with that Kim guy. He struggled with, with simple everyday things, but he he was he could memorize books in seconds. All he had to do was read a page for seconds and he memorized it all. And then he could just spout off the information. It was very clever, and there was other people the same. Savants, they're called. And I thought I wasn't a savant. I thought, yeah, people keep saying I'm autistic, and I may very well be. But I'm not sure I'm a savant. I don't I have a great memory. But then again, I do, in another way, because I do memorise things that I that's happened to me years and years and years ago, but I don't remember absolutely every detail. But people have commented on how I have such a wonderful memory because I remember things in detail that happened a long time ago. Hello, are you coming with me as well? Can you see them? They're coming with me as well. <laughs> We're going back. They're quite happy to come back with me. Hello. They're very cute. Maybe it's because I'm quite zen out here. I will admit my legs are killing me now, so. Or they're starting to ache. My mum commented on how I do too much walking. And I'll be doing a lot of walking there, uh, you know, in two days' time as well. I've already got an appointment. They swim a bit slower than I walk, so that's why I'm walking really slow. Um. Let's have a break. Pew. 26. There's a thing down there that says 26. My feet are killing me now. Anyway, so now I, th I actually think that autistic people are amazing.
and I would be honoured to be one. So before